Last month, the Hopkins girls basketball team capped off a perfect 32-0 season by winning the state class 4A championship. Just this week, Royals head coach Brian Cosgriff was named the Max Preps National Coach of the Year for girls basketball. We caught up with him earlier today. Well, I think it's really uh, it's a nice honor, but it's an honor for our community as well as our, just our basketball program. I mean, my assistants were amazing this year. The parents were amazing. The players were amazing. Our administration, it really all blended together. So I think it's a nice award for everyone in the Hopkins community. You have put so much time into this program and your coaches and your players over the years. Is this kind of a validation of all the work you've put in? You know, I don't know about that. A validation for me is when the players come back and want to be part of the program or just come back to say hi or send you emails or something on Facebook. That's the true validation of it. Um, we've had great teams before and, and didn't win anything and it didn't make me feel any less or anything like that. So, I mean, it's just a nice award for, I think, the entire basketball, Hopkins basketball community. Now that you can look back on this last season, did you feel pressure as a team or as a coach to, to win it all this year after those runner-up finishes you had in the last three seasons? You know, I didn't feel pressure myself. I felt pressure for uh, our kids, especially Paige, because Paige is really, really a good player. And the knock on her was she couldn't win the state championship. Tyson 6 2. The fact of the matter is, she was there for three years in a row. And you know what? I felt like this is a good thing for her as well as the team. Um, because basically, we're coming back with a number of different players. It's a good way to send Lele Chicolas out as well. She had been there a number of years. So, not necessarily for me, but for our kids, I felt pressure. Speaking of Paige Becker, she recently committed to UConn. What does that say about her as a player to be part of a program that's been kind of a gold standard for women's basketball the last two decades? Yeah, well, I've been doing this for a long time, and I watch all these college coaches come in in the summer for AAU, and I had never seen Gino here for anybody. We've had a number of good players come to the state, and when he comes into your gym as many times as he has, that says something about that player's abilities because he sees them all around the country. I think it's a great uh, thing for Paige. I think it's a great thing for UConn. They're getting an amazing player, person, as well as the, Paige is going to get to play for a Hall of Fame coach. So I think it's a great, great fit for everyone. And congratulations to Coach Cosgrip.